really large but absolutely huge crowds to prashant in lem people came then as now not only from all over india but indeed from many parts of the world प्रशांति निलियम में शिवरात्रि का त्योहार बहुत बड़ी संख्या में भक्तों को 50 और 60 के दशकों से ही आकर्षित करता रहा है उस समय भी लोग भारत भर से ही नहीं बल्कि संसार के कई भागों से आया करते थे देर आर मेनी रीजन वाई शिवरात्रि इन प्रशांति निलियम इज सो वेरी पॉपुलर द फर्स्ट ऑफ कोर्स इज द फैक्ट that the celebrations take place in the immediate and divine presence of bhagwan baba the other important reason is that on such occasions one is often blessed to witness divine leelas the kind of which are never seen elsewhere and have never been seen earlier in human history prashanti nilayam ki shivratri mahotsav ke itna adhik lokpriya hone ke kya karan hai ye hum dekhenge पहला यह कि यहाँ त्योहारों को भगवान बाबा की दिव्य एवं प्रत्यक्ष उपस्थिति में मनाया जाता है दूसरा महत्वपूर्ण कारण यह है कि हमें कई बार ऐसी दिव्य लीलाओं को देखने का सौभाग्य प्राप्त होता है जैसे कभी और कहीं नहीं देखा जा सकता एवं जिन्हें मानव इतिहास में भी पहले कभी नहीं देखा गया है tens of thousands congregate in puttaparthi during every shivratri celebration in fact this has been happening regularly since the 50s these days the crowds have not merely grown but more importantly thousands come from overseas for the festival pratyek shivratri ke tyohar par lakhon bhakt puttaparthi mein ekatrit hote hain 1950 ke varshon se hi ऐसा नियमित रूप से हो रहा है इन दिनों लोगों की संख्या बढ़ रही है और हजारों लोग विदेशों से भी इस त्योहार पर आते हैं इन मेनी रिस्पेक्ट द पैटर्न ऑफ सेलिब्रेशन चेंज फ्रॉम दो अर्ली डेज बट इन थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट रिस्पेक्ट देर हैज बी नो चेंज द फर्स्ट इज दैट ऑन शिवरात्रि डे देर इज अ डिवाइन डिस्कोर्स बाय बाबा द सेकेंड is that there is all night vigil through bhajan singing the third is the occurrence of extraordinary divine leelas purane dino ki tulna mein isme kai parivartan bhi aaye hain parantu teen pramukh roopon mein koi parivartan nahi hua pehla ye ki shivratri ke avsar par baba ka pravachan hota hai dusra ye ki sari raat bhajan ga kar jagran kiya jata hai teesra asadharan leelaon ka hona hai where divine leelas are concerned in the old days one witnessed two types the famous vibhuti abhishekam and the lingodbhavam purane dinon mein do prakar ki leelaen dekhne ko milti thi prasiddh vibhuti abhishek evam lingodbhavam we will now offer you some glimpses of the remarkable vibhuti abhishekam from old film clips baba would start with water abhishekam for the silver idol of shirdi baba in the mandir in prashanti nilayam after this an empty wooden pot would be held upside down over the silver idol earlier it was swami karunyananda who held the pot later that blessing was conferred on late shri kasturi अब हम आपको विलक्षण विभूति अभिषेक की कुछ पुरानी झलकियां दिखा रहे हैं प्रशांत निलियम के मंदिर में बाबा पहले श्री शिरडी साई बाबा की चांदी की मूर्ति का जल से अभिषेक किया करते थे तदुपरांत मूर्ति के ऊपर एक खाली घड़े को पकड़ा जाता था पहले उस घड़े को स्वामी करुणानंद पकड़ते थे बाद में यह सौभाग्य श्री कस्तूरी जी को प्राप्त हुआ When the empty pot was held over the idol 
devotees would sing bhajans baba would then insert one hand into the pot and twirl suddenly vibhuti would pour out in a continuous stream as long as the hand was inside the vibhuti would keep pouring out the moment he took out his hand the flow would miraculously stop and when he inserted the other hand the torrential flow would resume again khali ghade ko jab murti ke upar pakda jata bhakt gan bhajan gayan karte baba ghade ke andar apna ek haath dal kar ghumate aur achanak ek nirantar dhara mein vibhuti girne lagti jab tak haath andar rehta vibhuti dhara pravah girti rehti jis pal wo haath bahar nikalte girti hui vibhuti चमत्कारी रूप से रुक जाती दूसरा हाथ अंदर डालते ही यह धारा फिर आरंभ हो जाती अूज हिप ऑफ विभूति वुड बी कलेक्टेड and later baba would mercifully distribute the vibhuti as prasadam is prakar vibhuti ka ek bada dher lag jata baad mein baba apni anant karuna mein use prasad swarup bhakton ke beech baant dete the the lingod bhavam is another incomparable event the like of which cannot be seen anywhere except in prashantin lem this is what kasturi says about the lingod bhavam quote since 1950 shivratri has been celebrated in puttaparthi and each year since the declaration of the manifestation lingams have materialized within his body baba has said that he often finds it difficult to postpone or prevent the formation of lingams within him baba gives darshan during the evening and then begins his discourse in between there are spasmodic struggles in the stomach he continues with the discourse until the region of the struggle changes to the upper part of the chest and the neck he seems to be undergoing some kind of a physical tension and suddenly to the joyous wonder of all lingams fall from his mouth the lingams that emanate on successive shivratris differ in number size and composition unquote lingod bhavam ek aur aisi adbhut aur atulni ghatna hai jise prashanti nilayam ke alawa aur kahin bhi nahi dekha ja sakta lingod bhavam ke vishay mein kasturi ji ka kehna tha 1950 se puttaparthi mein शिवरात्रि का त्योहार मनाया जा रहा है हर वर्ष लिंग बाबा के शरीर के अंदर ही निर्मित होते हैं बाबा ने अक्सर ऐसा कहा है कि उनके शरीर के अंदर हो रहे लिंग के निर्माण में विलंब या उसे रोकना कठिन है शिवरात्रि के दिन बाबा संध्या समय दर्शन देते हैं और उसके पश्चात उनका प्रवचन प्रारंभ होता है इस बीच पेट की मांसपेशियों में बहुत संघर्ष होता है वह प्रवचन देते रहते हैं समय के साथ वह संघर्ष गले एवं छाती तक आ जाता है ऐसा लगता है जैसे वे किसी शारीरिक कष्ट को झेल रहे हैं और अचानक सभी के आनंद की सीमा नहीं रहती आश्चर्य के बीच लिंग उनके मुंह से निकलता है हर वर्ष ये लिंग संख्या आकार एवं उनके निर्मित तत्वों के अनुसार भिन्न भिन्न रहते हैं In the earlier years the lingams were of various types such as spatika lingam prithvi lingam jyotir lingam lately it has been the hiranyagarbha lingam a golden egg shaped object that symbolizes the cosmic womb from which the universe has emanated aap ab beete hue kuch varshon ke lingod bhav dekh rahe hain pehle ye ling विभिन्न प्रकार के होते थे जैसे स्फटिक लिंग पृथ्वी लिंग ज्योतिर्लिंग अब हिरण्य गर्भ लिंग निकलते हैं यह एक सोने का अंडाकार लिंग है जो उस हिरण्य गर्भ को दर्शाता है जिससे संपूर्ण ब्रह्मांड की सृष्टि हुई है
సాయిరాం స్వామి గారు నన్ను ఇప్పుడే ఆనతిచ్చారు ఈ సంవత్సరం పిల్లలు నిర్వహించిన క్రీడలని గురించి రాశాను గత సంవత్సరంలో కూడా రాశాను గత సంవత్సరం కూడా ఇదే రోజు శివరాత్రి రోజు చదివన్నాను ఇప్పుడు చదవమని ఆనతిచ్చారు అవి కాకుండా ముందు కొన్ని స్వామి గారి గురించి రాసిన చదివి అప్పుడు తర్వాత అవుతాను ఇది ఇప్పుడు నేను చదవబోయేది పదకొండు వేల నూట నలభై పోయమండి ఇప్పటికి నేను పదకొండు వేల నాలుగు వందల డెబ్బై ఆరు రాసి ఈ రోజుకి విత్తనంపై పెత్తనం పెరుమాళ్ళదే కాని పేద రైతుది కాదు విత్తనంపై పెత్తనం పెరుమాళ్ళుదే కాని పేద రైతుది కాదు విత్తనం మట్టిని చీల్చుకొని నీటిని పీల్చుకొని అంకురంగా మొలకెత్తుతోందంటే విత్తనం విత్తనం నానున్న విశ్వనాథుని వియత్తలంనున్న విశ్వనాథుని దయ లేకున్నా ఆ విత్తు చెట్టు కాగలదా విశ్వనాథుడైన సత్యసాయి దయ లేకున్నా నా మస్తకంలోని పదాలకు పుస్తక రూపం వస్తున్నా ఇది పదకొండు వేల వ్యక్తిగతం కాదు వ్యవస్థాగతం కాదు అవస్థాగతం అంతకన్నా కాదు ఆత్మగతం పర పర్తి పరమాత్మగతం ఆత్మ పరమాత్మల అంతర్గతం కానీ అది అంతిమ గతం కాదు అనర్గళ ఆర్యగతం మా గతం దానికే స్వాగతం సుస్వాగతం అన్యులకు కాదిది అవగతం ఇది బాబా భాగవతం మా మా స్వగతం స్వచ్ఛంద పురోగతం పూర్వజన్మల పవిత్ర గళ గతం ఈ ఆధ్యాత్మిక అవగుంఠనం తొలగనిది తొలిగినా కానరానిది తొలి జన్మల జాబితా కాదిది ఇది ఒక అనూహ్య అవగాహన కుహనా కాని వ్యవహారం పూర్వ అపూర్వ పోలహారమే కాని పలహారం కాదు ఇదో వైదిక వజ్ర వైఢూర్య ప్రహారం నమో నమస్త నమత్తాంరాగ తాంరాగ నమస్త నమత్తాంరాగ తాంరాగ తాంరాగ చారుణాగ అరుణాగ తాంరాగ తాంరాగ చారుణాగ అరుణాయ అరుణాయ చారుణాయ అరుణాయ చారుణాయ 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 నమో నమ శంగాయ చమో నమ శంగాయ నమో నమ శంగాయ పశుపతే 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 
पशु पता गीति पशु पता गे नमो नमस्च नमो उग्राय नम उग्रा योग्रा गे नमो नम उग्रा गच चोग्रा गे नमो नम उग्रा गच उग्रा चोग्रा योग्रा भीमा ये भीमा ये चोग्रा योग्रा भीमा ये च भीमा गे भीमा गच भीमा गे च भीमा गे भीमा गे च भीमा गे च भीमा गे च नमो नमः च भीमा ये भीमा ये च नमः नमो नमः च नमो अग्रे वधा गे अग्रे वधा गे नमः च नमो अग्रे वधा गे अगस्त नारायण हाँ the down upper lower words are also नारायण all that is is very narayana yad bhutam yad jabavyam all that was all that is and all that will be is very narayana nishkalo niranjano nirvikho nigaksha dishuddho deva eko narayana narayana pure ever blissful never changing one who is beyond words and thoughts and ever pure and unsully nadhi jo skitashtita is unequal This is really Veda. He is the omnipresent one who pervades everything. First chant the Pranava Mantra Om. Then the words Namo. Then the words Narayana. Om is the single letter word. Nama is two letter word. Narayana Chitra Charani. The word Narayana consists of five letters. Etat Vai Narayana Chakta Charam Padam. This is the eight letter mantra Om Namo Narayana. Yoha Vai Narayana Chakta Charam Padam. Whoever chants this holy mantra, he attains long and prosperous life. He becomes the master of all the beings. He attains immortality. This is the real Veda. The most holy and auspicious occasion of Mahashivratri has arrived yet again. Shivaratri is observed every month on the 14th night of the Krishna Paksha or the dark half for the moon. Moon is the presiding deity of the mind and has only one more night to become a non-entity with no influence on the agitations of the mind. In the month of Magha, the 14th night is named as the Maha Shivaratri. Dearest Bhagwan, we on behalf of one and all, offer at your lotus feet a bouquet of stotrams and songs. Bho Shiva Shambho Swayam Bho. Shambhu, Shiva Shambhu, Swayambhu, Shambhu, Shiva Shambhu, Swayambhu, Shambhu, Shiva Shambhu, Swayambhu, Shambhu, Shiva Shambhu, Swayambhu, Shambhu, Sh
ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೋ ಶಂಭೋ ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೋ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಗಮ ಗಮಭೂತ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅಕ್ಷಯ ಲಿಂಗ ನಿಜ ಗುಣ ನಿಹಿತ ನಿರಾಯನಂದ ಆನಂದ ಅತಿಶಯ ಅಕ್ಷಯ ಲಿಂಗ ಆನಂದ ಅತಿಶಯ ಅಕ್ಷಯ ಲಿಂಗ ಭೋ ಶಂಭೋ ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೋ ಶಂಭೋ ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೋ ದಿಮಿತ ದಿಮಿತ ದಿಮಿ ದಿಮಿ ಕಿಟ ಕಿಟ ತೋ ತೋಂ ತೋಂ ತರಿ ಕಿಟ ತರಿ ಕಿಟ ಕಿಟ ತೋ ದಿಮಿತ ದಿಮಿತ ದಿಮಿ ದಿಮಿ ಕಿಟ ಕಿಟ ತೋ ತೋಂ ತೋಂ ತರಿ ಕಿಟ ತರಿ ಕಿಟ ಕಿಟ ತೋ ಮತಂಗ ಮುನಿ ವರ ಬಂದಿತ ಈಶಾ ಸರ್ಮದಿ ಸಂಬರ ವೇಷಿತ ವೇಷಾ ಮತಂಗ ಮುನಿವರ ವಂದಿತ ಈಶಾ ಸರ್ವದಿ ಕಂಬರ ವೇಷಿತ ವೇಷಾ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿರಂಜನ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಟೇಶ ಈಶಾ ಮಹೇಶ ಸರ್ವೇಶ ದಿಮಿತ ದಿಮಿತ ದಿಮಿ ದಿಮಿ ಕಿಟ ಕಿಟ ತೋ ತೋಂ ತೋಂ ತರಿ ಕಿಟ ತರಿ ಕಿಟ ಕಿಟ ತೋ ಮತಂಗ ಮುನಿವರ ವಂದಿತ ಈಶಾ ಸರ್ವದಿ ಕಂಬರ ವೇಷಿತ ವೇಷಾ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿರಂಜನ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಟೇಶ ಈಶಾ ಮಹೇಶ ಶಂಭೋ ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೋ ಶಂಭೋ ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೋ ಶಂಭೋ ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೋ ಓ ಶಂಭೋ ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೋ ಓ ಶಂಭೋ ಶಿವ ಶಂಭೋ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೋ ಇದ್ದ ಸನಂದಾದಿ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಸಂಸೇವಿತುನಿ ಶಾಂತ ವಿಗ್ರಹುನಿ ಬಾತ್ಸಲ್ಯ ಗುನುನಿ ಕಮನೀಯ ಲೋಕಮಂಗಲ ದಾಯಕುನಿ ಶಿವುನಿ ವಿಶ್ವ ಬಂಧುನಿ ಜಗದ್ವಿನುತ ಯಶುನಿ ಗುಹ್ಯಕ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಯಕ್ಷೋ ರಕ್ಷನಾಥ ಕುಬೇರ ಸೇವಿತುನಿ ದುರ್ವಾರ ಬಲುನಿ ನುಚಿತ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ತಪೋ ಯೋಗಯುಕ್ತುನಿ ಬಾಲಚಂದ್ರ ಭೂಷಣುನಿ ಮುನೀಂದ್ರ ನುತಿನಿ ಮೇಮು ಮೃಕ್ಕೆದನ್ ಟು ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎಂಬಾಡಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಟು ದ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದಿ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಅದ್ಭುತ ವಿಗ್ರಹ ಅಮರಾರೀಶ್ವರ ಗಣಿತ ಗುಣ ಗಣ ಅಮೃತ ಶಿವ ಅದ್ಭುತ ವಿಗ್ರಹ ಅಮರಾಧೀಶ್ವರ ಅಗಣಿತ ಗುಣ ಗಣ ಅಮೃತ ಶಿವ ಆನಂದಾಮೃತ ಆಶ್ರಿತ ರಕ್ಷಕ ಆನಂದ ಮಹೇಶ ಶಿವ ಆನಂದಾಮೃತ ಆಶ್ರಿತ ರಕ್ಷಕ ಆನಂದ ಮಹೇಶ ಶಿವ ಸಾಂಬ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಾಂಬ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಾಂಬ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಇಂದು ಕಲಾಧರ ಇಂದ್ರಾದಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸುಂದರ ರೂಪ ಸುರೇಶ ಶಿವ ಇಂದು ಕಳಾಧರ ಇಂದ್ರಾದಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸುಂದರ ರೂಪ ಸುರೇಶ ಶಿವ ಈಶ ಸುರೇಶ ಮಹೇಶ ಜನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಕೇಶವ ಸೇವಿತ ಪಾದ ಶಿವ ಈಶ 
ಸುರೇಶ ಮಹೇಶ ಜನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಕೇಶವ ಸೇವಿತ ಪಾದ ಶಿವ ಸಾಮ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಪುರಗಾದಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಉರಗ ವಿಭೂಷಣ ಕರಕ ವಿನಾಶನ ಕೇಶ ಶಿವ ಪುರಗಾದಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಉರಗ ವಿಭೂಷಣ ನರಕ ವಿನಾಶನ ಕೇಶ ಶಿವ ಊರ್ಜಿತ ದಾನವನಾಶ ಪರಾರ್ಪರ ಆರ್ಜಿತ ಪಾಪ ವಿನಾಶ ಶಿವ ಊರ್ಜಿತ ದಾನವನಾಶ ಪರಾರ್ಪರ ಆರ್ಜಿತ ಪಾಪ ವಿನಾಶ ಶಿವ ಸಾಂಬ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಾಂಬ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಾಂಬ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ನ ಪಾಶಂ ನ ಬಾನ ನ ಶಸ್ತ್ರ ನ ಚಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರೇಮೇವ ಸಾಯಿನಾಥ ಸಾಮರ್ಥ್ಯ ಯಂತ್ರ ಸಾಮರ್ಥ್ಯಂತ್ರ His devotion to Shiva is known to one and all. At the tender age of 16, Markandeya came to know that his death was imminent. He decided that it would be appropriate to spend his last minutes in the prayer of his Lord. ಚಂದನಲೇಪಿತ ಲಿಂಗ ಪಂಕಜಹಾರ ಸುಶೋಭಿತ 
The God of Death arrived at the appointed hour and beckoned Markandeya. Markandeya, in the middle of his prayers, requested for more time. But Yama was impatient and would not listen to him. Markandeya, in agony, hugged the lingam and prayed harder. Yama, in a fit of anger, flung the noose around Markandeya. Lord Shiva immediately appeared, for the noose had fallen around the lingam too. He raised his trident against Yama. Yama bowed low in submission and was sent away. The Lord had answered the prayers of his devotee. Lord Vishwanatha, who is the master of all beings, whose limbs are adorned by the serpents as jewels, who is clothed with tiger skin, who has matted hair and three eyes, who assures protection with his raised hand and holds the noose, the goad and the trident. Lord Shiva, whose matted hair is adorned by the beautiful waves of Ganga. Lord Shiva, the conqueror of death. Lord Shiva, the giver of life. ಪಾಲಿನ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಮೊಕ್ಕೆದ ತಾಂಡವ ಕೇಳಿಕಿನ್ ದಯಾ ಸಾಲಿಕಿ ಸೂಲಿಕಿನ್ ಸಿಖರಂಜಾಮುಖ ಪದ್ಮ ಮಯೂಕ ಮಾಲಿಕಿನ್ ಬಾಲ ಶಶಾಂಕ ಮೌಲಿಕಿ ಕಪಾಲಿಕಿ ಮನ್ಮದ ಗರ್ವ ಪರ್ವತೋನ್ಮೂಲಿಕಿ ನಾರದಾದಿ ಮುನಿ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಮನಸ್ಸರಸಿ ರುಹಾಲಿಕಿನ್ ಮೌಳಿ ಗುಲ್ಕೆಡು ಚಂದ್ರ ಮಕಂಡ ಕಳತೋಡ ಬೆಡಗಾರು ಗುಂಪೆಡು ಜಡಲತೋಡ ಜಡಲಲೋ ಪ್ರವಹಿಂಚು ಚದಲೇಟಿ ಜಿಗಿತೋಡ ಡಂಬೈನ ಪಾಲ ನೇತ್ರಂಬುತೋಡ ನಲ್ಲ ನೇರೇಡು ವಂಟಿ ನಲ್ಲನಿ ಮೆಡತೋಡ ಕರಮುನ ನಾಗ ಕಂಕಣಮು ತೋಡ ನಡುಮುನ ಚುಟ್ಟಿನ ನಾಗ ಚರ್ಮಮು ತೋಡ ಮೈನಿಂಡ ನಲದು ಭಸ್ಮಂಬು ತೋಡ ನುದುಟ ದೇರ್ಚಿನ ಪೆದ್ದ ಕುಂಕುಮ ಬೊಟ್ಟುತೋ ತಾಂಬೂಲ ರಾಗ ಧರಂಬು ತೋಡ ಆರು ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಮುಲಂದು ನಂದಗಿಂಚಿ ನಲ್ಲ ಕಲುವಲ ಹಸಿಯಿಂಚಿ ಕೊಲ್ಲಲಾಡು ಮೆರುಗು ಚಾಮನ ಛಾಯಲ ಮೇನು ತೋಡ ಅನಿ ದೇ ಅನಿ ದೇ ದ 
ಸಮಿತಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಸಾಯಿ ದೇವಾ ಹರಿಪುರಿ ವಾಸಿ ಸತ್ಯ ಸಾಯಿ ದೇವಾ ಸಾಯಿ ಮಹಾದೇವಾ ಕಾಪಾಡ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೋಲಿ ಅಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾಶಿವರಾತ್ರಿ let us know more about sai shiva through a question answer session for this question i'll be telling you one sentence you need to tell who said it and in which context the sentence is the lingams are all here i'll repeat the sentence is the lingams are all here remember you have to tell who said it and in which context it happened in long back when the first mandir was under construction the site was selected and swami had told a group of people to go and dig at particular spot and when they dig they found there were stone bases without lingams and they were all puzzled finally not knowing anything they came to swami and put this question to swami swami smiled and he pointed his finger fingers towards his stomach and said the lingams are all here how does shiva's family teaches us the lesson of unity shiva's family is actually full of contradictions yet they live in absolute unity for example the vahana of lord shiva is a docile nandi whereas the vahana of mother parvati is a ferocious lion snake adorns the neck of lord shiva as his garland whereas the mouse is lord ganapati's vahana and peacock is lord kartik's vahana which is a sworn enemy of all serpents lord shiva himself has the cool ganges on his matted locks and has the fire adorning his forehead in these ways lord shiva's family is full of contradictions yet they live in unity and this beautiful analogy was brought out by bhagwan himself i think that was more than a complete answer i'll come to the final question very simple what is the meaning of sai baba what is the meaning of sai baba sai baba means divine mother and father the word sai baba can be broken into sir i baba sir means divine i means mother and baba means father so it means divine mother and father as the boy said correctly even the word samba shiva means the same sir means divine amba means mother and shiva means father so it means divine mother and father in fact he is the divine mother and father for each one of us whether we are poor or rich whether we are hindu muslim sikh or christian whether we are indian american or british wherever we are whatever we may be 
He is our divine mother and father. In fact, this Sai family of ours, if it is maintained and if it is made up of anything, it is this divine love of Him. On this auspicious occasion, let us all come together, forget our differences, let us adore Him and let us sing His glory in unison. Jai Sai Ram. पाकर कहो को मिटाकर कहता है दिल बार बार यहाँ भी रहेंगे तुम्हारे रहेंगे दिल खोल कर कहेंगे हम तुम्हारे हजार हजारों में तुम एक हो Oh, oh, oh. 